dry, itchy, red rash. Dr. Anna McGee of Charlottesville Dermatology lays out the symptoms and signs of eczema. The skin condition covers a broad range of categories. Atopic dermatitis is found mostly in children. Contact dermatitis relates to allergic reactions like poison ivy. And hand eczema impacts people who wash their hands a lot, like healthcare workers. All of these types of eczema can get worse when it's colder outside. Winter time, fall, uh, these transition times tend to be um, a tough time for people with atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, and the skin gets drier. As the humidity in the air goes down, the skin gets drier and tends to be more prone to getting inflamed. Dr. McGee says patients often get eczema on the insides of elbows, behind knees, and hands. But the rough and scaly patches don't have to stick around forever. There is something you can do to get rid of them. Moisturizers are the essential treatment for eczema, atopic dermatitis. And um, we like heavy moisturizers, the cream-based moisturizers with no fragrances in them. On top of lathering up with lotion, people with eczema can also help the condition by taking precautions when bathing. Mild soaps. You don't want you to wash your skin too much if you can avoid it. And you want to avoid hot showers. You know, tepid water is going to be better for your skin. It's not going to dry it as much. If these remedies don't work, Dr. McGee suggests heading to your doctor for an exam. Your dermatologist can prescribe a steroid cream to get your skin back to normal so you can get back outdoors and enjoy the cooler temperatures without itchy red rashes. Stephanie Satchel, CBS 19 News.